State biologist Lee Cantar bushwhacks through the woods near the western edge of Piscataquis County. He's looking for a dead moose, specifically moose number 59, who was captured and fitted with a radio collar in the winter of 2014. Oh, thank you, but Cantar points to her bony hips, patches of missing hair, and a prime suspect in her death. There's winter ticks all over her. Dead several days, scores of ticks are still attached, engorged to the size of large raisins. When alive, up to 90,000 of them could have been feeding on the moose. Cantar begins a field necropsy to determine cause of death. He finds bone marrow that's almost devoid of fat and internal organs that are a sickly white. She's completely pale. You know, this is, to me, when her organs are this coloration, that's, an that's a sign of anemia, meaning she was being fed on by ticks. And she's got so much blood loss that she's, you know, it's showing up everywhere. Each adult female tick can remove one milliliter of blood from its host, which can amount to gallons of blood lost. Replacing that much blood may be impossible for some moose while subsisting on fat reserves and little else during winter. Cantar also discovers two other types of parasites on her lungs. There's little doubt about the cause of death. I wouldn't be normally very quick to say that it's, it would be necessarily tick-induced, but between the tick and lung, um, it's pretty bad. That's pretty bad relative to other adults. Winter ticks have been pestering Maine moose for about a century, but their numbers have exploded in parts of Maine, New Hampshire, Minnesota, and southern Canada as the climate warms. Cantor saw more dead moose calves this spring than ever. Sixty of the 70 calves the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife collared last winter died as of early May. Winter ticks target mostly deer and moose. With higher moose densities in northern Maine, it's easier for tick larvae to find a host, grow, and breed more baby ticks. A solid coating of snow in fall will kill winter tick larvae, but snow is arriving later in the fall. Really, it's the first permanent snowfall that happens uh, during the, the fall, where snow is consistently on the ground for the, the remainder of the, of the winter. That's really a, the best predictor on, on the final abundance that accumulate on moose. Now... The Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife is also studying whether reducing adult moose densities through increased hunting in the same area where the calves were collared can lower the tick numbers and improve the overall health of the population.